Hi, I'm Letitia. I'm a 10th grader at St. Stephen's and St. Agnes School, and this is my day. In chemistry, we were experimenting in a lab with um, Charles Law and Boyle's Law, in which we experimented with heating a can of water and then tipping it upside down into a bowl of ice water to see the relationship between pressure and temperature and how it affected the can. And it was really interesting and hands-on way to um, really visualize the different laws, the different gas laws. Today in my AP World History class, we were all studying for our AP exam, although our class usually involves um, partner work. Today in my Algebra 2 trig class, we went around and we put our homework answers on the board for our um, trigonometric functions homework. And this is a really helpful way of um, making sure that we all understood how to exactly do problems, how to solve for different identities, and we could go back and help each other out if we got stuck on a certain part of the problem. When it's nice weather outside, my friends and I like to sit out at picnic tables near the baseball field and it's really nice to get some vitamin D during the day and we all bring um, food from home even though we can buy food from the cafeteria and it's a nice way to socialize and be outside during the day. I take sophomore ethics which every sophomore um, is required to take and it's an interesting class in which we talk about ethical thinking and that there's a right answer and also another right answer. We discuss um, Plato, Aristotle, Kantian ethics, utilitarianism, contractarianism, many isms. And we also talk about um, contemporary topics and we become well versed on both sides of issues. So English class this year is definitely my favorite class because we do a lot of discussions about open-ended questions, um, about our books that we read and about our writing. So like, it's essentially like you're following one specific person, but you're kind of like watching them from the back. The back okay, from a narrator's perspective, yeah. or you could almost think of it like this.